Brickle up mesh. Woo! Woo That's a huge fish. What the? F that might be a five pounder right there. Just hopping it on the bottom. Oh. Oh. Please keep fishing out there. Frick'em up nation, we are back and it is still crappy weather. Today we are doing the part two of the catfish challenge. Now, I do not have Melissa with me. It is just me, myself, and I. Hot dogs against worms. See which one works the best. Now, I'm thinking that worms are gonna work the best. You know, worms are the most natural. Worms are always moving and they are still stinky. Uh, but you never know, the hot dogs could get bit too because hot dogs is a really good bait for catfishing. So, two hot dogs down there, worms. Got the circle hooks, split shot, and my little Sprite. I'm gonna try to do less talking in this video because of the rain and I don't wanna destroy my GoPro. Two poles is gonna have hot dogs. Two poles is gonna have worms. Uh, let's do it, y'all. We have my Lou's American Hero spinning combo with three split shots, circle hook with some hot dog on there. We're gonna get it out there. Good cast, I like that. If there is a fish, we gonna let it hook itself. We gotta get these other poles out. We got the next dogs on. Yeah. We got our second hot dog out there. Let's get those worms out. There we go. Three poles out, one more to go. Screen looks really wet, so. We got all four poles out, as you can see. These two have the hot dogs, and then these two have the worms. Uh, the waiting game begins. I cannot keep this GoPro on. I gotta try to keep it as dry as possible so it does not break. So y'all be seeing a lot of cuts on this video, but hey, it's for a good cause. Let's see which one will win. 12 seconds later. We got our first bite here. He's on there, it looks like. Yeah. He's on there. Feels pretty good too, man. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. It's a really nice one, dude. All right, let's go down there and get them. There we go. Daggum. Pinned. That guy wasn't going nowhere. Sweet. He hooked himself. On the worm, y'all. There we go. First fish. Super cool, man. Four and a half, five pound channel right there. On the worm, guys. Worm one, hot dog zero. Nice fish, nice fish, frick them up, Nate. Yeah. Sweet, guys. I love you, catfish. Thank you for playing. Let's get another one. Good freaking deal. These two had a bite. This one had a huge bite, man. It was such a big bite. Hot dog is gone. All right. My GoPro is straight acting up, y'all. It's not as big as that other one, that's for sure. This one's maybe about a pound and a half. You know, it's a little guy, pound and a half, two pounds. See you, little feller. Two on the worm, 
Zero on the hot dog. We're probably about to recast both of these. Already recasted these. Give it about maybe like an hour and a half. Because I already got two on the worm. And the hour and a half could make the hot dogs come back. We got to see, you know. Anything gets bit on these two poles usually. But today it's this one, which is really weird. But yeah, we're probably going to recast these. Play that waiting game. See if we can catch any more. Hopefully it's on hot dog, you know. Make this a fair game. We got another bite on this pole. I don't know if it's on there. Oh, I might have got on. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, he's stuck in some stuff. No, he's out. He's out. Yeah, he's out. It's a fighter. He don't feel too big. He's a good one. He's a good one. Yeah, he's bigger than that second one. He might be bigger than the first. Oh, let's get him in here. That's on the worm again, same pole. <laughs> not bigger than the first though. Close to it, but not bigger than the first. Yeah, that's a dandy. That is a dandy. Three for the worm, and zero for the hot dog. Three and a half, four pound catfish channel. Super cool, man. He's got pimples on him, though. I'm gonna take an Instagram picture real quick. We are out here in the struggle today, guys. While this wind is coming, and this rain keeps coming down and then stopping, and then coming down again and then stopping, back and forth, we're catching some good channels. Good sized channels, man. That's about a three and a half, four pound channel right there, boy yes sir nice really nice colors on them we're gonna let them go too let them go right here do your thing see ya <laughs> we're out here in the struggle two very boring minutes later we might have to fish on this blue pole right here i don't know we got some stuff all gunked up on it we gotta get some more hot dog on there, man. Dang it. We're gonna cast this over here a little bit more, closer to my worm. Cause maybe we're not throwing by where they're at with the hot dog. So maybe we gotta switch up a little bit. It's really by the weeds over here. But we're just gonna have to roll the dice, see if it'll work. We're moving with the current right now, so. One hour later. All right guys, we got a fish on. All I was trying to do was, oh, it's a nice one, dude. Oh, it's a nice one. I can't lose him. He's gonna get stuck in there. I saw that it was really snagged up in these nasty trees. Oh, dude, that's a nice one. That's the biggest one all day right there. That's the biggest one all day. Five, six pound. Dude, it looked like it was just super snagged up and all of this nasty stuff at the edge. No, that was a bite. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's the biggest one all day. That's the biggest one all day. That's a channel, dude. I was literally reeling it in because it was all caught up into all these weeds and nasty stuff that's pouring in from the drain over there. But I didn't know there was a fish on there. Ow, you're clamping on my thumb. <laughs> Biggest one of the day, guys. Yes. People driving by. <laughs> that other one was the biggest one of the day, the first one. But guys, this one broke it. This one broke it. 
Look at how beautiful that fish is, guys. Super nice. Everybody's looking at it when they're driving by. Probably five and a half, five, five and a half pound channel. It's not a blue. You can tell it's not a blue by this dorsal pin right here. That's really curved. It's not as boxed as a blue would be. Guys, super nice fish. Got a belly on it. We're gonna let him go though. We don't have the stringer, so we can't keep him. Biggest one of the day on the worms. Four to nothing. Four fish on the worm. Zero fish on the hot dogs. We're moving the hot dogs to where I've been catching all these fish. But we're gonna pull one up on the hot dog. So let's let him go. He's been out of the water for a minute. Whenever you're ready, baby girl. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta love these kind of days, you know? It might be nasty out, it might be raining, it might be overcasted with the clouds moving super fast, super windy. You just gotta go for it. You have to believe that you're gonna catch some fish. And by all means, you will catch some fish. Four fish on the worm, zero fish on the hot dog. We're moving some hot dogs around. We're getting some bites on some hot dogs. We are running pretty low on hot dogs, guys. To catch only fish on the worm is what I didn't expect. I thought we would have some good and mean bites with the hot dog, but it's not showing love. We're gonna maneuver these around. I'm gonna maneuver a hot dog where this worm was. That should be good. We're moving the worm pole where the hot dog was. We're gonna see if it really matters if worm or hot dog is better. It's a big one that was over there in front of that little dock area. I'm gonna be putting over here now. There we go. All right, new location. Oh, we are slack. We're slacked, guys. We are slacked. Pick this up. Pick it up. We're slacked on the worm. No way, dude. Yeah, I caught four channel catfish. Yep. Yeah, they're pretty good ones. <laughs> I forgot my stringer. That's the bad thing. Yeah, but it's fun catching them though. Yeah, we got a bite, guys. Got them. We got them, guys. That's on the worm. That's on the worm again. Yes, 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 yes. That's five on the worm. Ooh, we did a little dive. Guys, we are pulling them in with this worm. We are pulling them in. Yes. It matters. It matters. I had this pole out there the whole day. All day. Not a single bite on the hot dog. Just put a fresh worm out there in front of them for five minutes. And caught him. <laughs> Three and a half pounder. We are crushing them today. All on the worm, too. That just proves to you that bait matters. If we catch a bigger one, we'll get more in detail and I'll put the camera back up over there so y'all can see what he looks like. This is just the average channel. I mean, it's still a three, three and a half pounder, guys. It's still a really nice, good, filleting worthy channel. Let's let him go. Don't kill me, please. He's off. Into that debris. Oh, wait. 
I'll help you out. There you go. Five fish on the worm, zero on the hot dog. Unbelievable. Look at this, man. Look at this debris. Taking my line over here. This hot dog is going to be gone, too. It is. Well, I'm done with this pole. I just broke this off. It got caught up into all that debris that was going down the lake. This one I'm done with. We have no more hot dogs, so I just hooked it back up. We got one pole out. We're probably about to head out, man. If something happens, I'll turn on the camera and maybe we can see another fish, but probably won't happen. Later that same evening. We got a bite, folks. It was a pretty good one. It slacked the line. Yeah, it's still there. Nah, don't slack me super slack. Yeah, they're st it's still there. It's still there. Got him. Got him. Got him. He's on there. Yeah. This worm is destroying it today. Oh my gosh. That's a P.O.'d one. That one is mad as can be. Let him chill out for a second. Mad as can be. Oh, that's swallowed. We're both flipping. Oh, that's still a good one. Yes. There we go. I mean, that's a solid three, three and a half. That worm is swallowed down in his gullet. We're going to let you keep that, my friend. You ain't got to worry about it. Let's let you go. Nation of them frick -em ups Can you believe the amount of damage that the worms put on them catfish? Wow. Hot dogs is such a good channel catfish bait. You know, it'll also catch blues. It'll also catch flathead. But, you know, that's mainly four channels but worms work better that's what i learned from this video right here and the reason why i say that is because after i caught that fourth one either the fourth or fifth one i decided to switch them up and then i switched the worm where a hot dog was and then the hot dog where a worm was and the worm still got the bite in the hot dog spot worms won dominated hot dogs by an ending result of six worms zero hot dogs jeez man i realized when i was editing the video that i only described one of my poles so i'm gonna get in detail with y'all for right now what we got right here is a shinamu r400 it's a really nice reel you can find it at uh bass pro shops you might even be able to find it at walmart i'm not sure but instead of the drag being on top of here it's right here I really like that modification to this reel. Bass Pro Shops Cat Max Catfish Series. Then it's got that flat head on there. Super cool. Then big old circle hook. Then four split shots with 20 pound mono. This is the Lose Cat Daddy Series. Find this at Walmart. I think only Walmart too. Uh, super cool green on there. Green with the white and even red. Kind of like some Christmas colors a little bit. This also has 20 pound mono on it, but just an all in all super durable rod and reel. We've had this pole for so long guys, but you know, it still is a pole and it'll still work. The rod is a Skeet Reese model WMSRC2. And then we got a Granite Outdoors reel. And I think it's got like, I don't know, maybe 10 pound mono. Might even be 10 pound floral, somewhere around there. Really old setup. My girl usually uses this. I don't really even touch this pole, but we had to make the competition fair, ladies and gents. All in all, super good day. You've got to love days like that where you're just pulling in those catfish and 
having a good old day, the time of your life, man. But yes, Frick Up Nation, you know what to do. Leave that like if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more catfishing. Subscribe if you want to stay posted with all of my posts. Know when I post my posts, which is Sunday, usually around 12 o'clock. And then comment anything you want, guys. Comment if you have any questions on those combos, setups, how I rigged the worm on the circle hooks, anything. Just let me know, guys. I love you so much, and please keep fishing out there.